Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can get this really cool heat map preset effect. I'm going to show you how you can make it on your own, but I'm also going to show you how you can use my presets that I made. If you want to save some time and go to my store and buy those, how you can add those to your project and sort of start having fun with it. So first things first, we're just going to drag an adjustment layer on top. You could obviously add these two clips individually, but I think that this is a little bit helpful. And then in that adjustment layer, you're going to want to go to Metri Color over here and you're going to go to curves and then inside of curves you're going to start making different uh, different points on your curve and then you're going to sort of drag these around now this can be a bit destructive i think that's okay though because you know you're kind of going for a trippy effect you're going to want to dial it in based on the color of your footage and just kind of what you have going on but i think that for the sake of this effect i think that that's fine even if it's a little bit destructive i know that a true colorist would probably see me uh, dragging these points around and maybe freak out but you know we're not trying to have this be you know the perfect lot we're trying to have this be trippy and kind of look just visually interesting so you can see just like that we already are storing sort of having like a really cool effect so just to play that footage right there that's what we have now I think this looks really cool uh, and it even looks better when you're putting it on top of footage that already has some effects on it like right here you can tell that there's a little bit of echo going on uh, and I think that that's really fun but if you want to play around with it a little bit more I think one thing that's helpful is to go into channel invert and drop that on top of your footage and that's just a really quick way that you can sort of change the color of this to match your footage a little bit better I noticed that some of these presets, you know, depending on what your footage is uh, shot and how it looks, kind of determines, you know, uh, how well the preset instantly adapts to your footage. But then you can go over here and blend with original. And I think this is just a helpful way to get a bunch of really cool, interesting effects for your footage uh, and give you that cool heat map effect. But if you want to save a little bit of time, I'm going to show you how you can use my presets to add to your footage and make your stuff a little bit more interesting and just have it be a little bit quicker. So if you downloaded my preset pack from the store, you can just right click and hit import preset, find where that file is on your computer and then just hit okay. And then you'll see something that looks like this that just says heat map. So I'm just gonna go ahead and drop a bunch of these onto our different footage and then we can kind of just see what it looks like. And just like that, you can see how this is already giving a super trippy effect to our videos. Now, depending on what you're making, you might want to do something where you're kind of just using these for a you know, section of your footage. And you can maybe add it behind some rotoscope footage. But, you know, I think that regardless of how you use it, this gives you a really cool opportunity to add a lot of interesting color to your project and, you know, just kind of have fun with it. And you can always go into these presets and change them around. So. This one right here, you know, as the colors in the background start to come in, it looks cool, but at the start, it's a little bit too much. So, you know, you could always go in here and you could adjust the curves a little bit, or you could even go into the invert channel and you could adjust how that is coming in, you know, the different settings that you can do within there and see how that matches your footage a little bit better. I think that for this scene, that looks pretty cool. But obviously you can really just have fun with it. Now a lot of the footage that I'm using here is shot pretty dark. So you might want to tweak it around just depending on what you have in your timeline. But I think overall this is a really cool way to get a bunch of interesting effects for your videos. So if you found this at all helpful or if you're interested in downloading my preset pack, go into the link in the bio at my store and you can buy it. Uh, and I really appreciate all the support guys. I'm going to be dropping a lot more uh, tutorials and a lot more effects. So just stay tuned and uh, I appreciate all the love.